you and I both sat on a board a few years ago that was in the healthcare business. And in those days, they, the ministry here, and I'm going back a, a few years, the ministry here had, hadn't approved the um, process of a doctor sending a prescription to a pharmacy and the pharmacy being able to deliver that prescription. And I think the company that we were involved with pioneered some of that. And it's now the norm. Within a couple of years, it's, it's, people couldn't imagine not having that facility. And yet a few years ago, it was illegal. Now they've had to change. And I think that's going to be across the board. Yep, regulators are now adapting and perfectly happy to adapt right now just because they don't have a choice. And these are the things that won't go back to normal. When, we, when you ask, you know, what will not come back to normal? That's not changing. Um, the, the, the digitization of so much of what we do day to day that before was unacceptable for regulatory reasons. Yeah. It was unsafe. It was unsocial to have your kids being taught on a screen. These things are going to not come back fully. That was, and there's another thing. There was, a, there was a, a very hard regulation to come over about schooling over the internet. Mm -hmm. um, and how that was not not allowed and then one company based in DMCC got a license to do that but never took it anywhere because it, it was a startup and they hadn't quite got everything in place now everybody's doing it you, you, yeah. it's what what I don't know whether this bothers you but what I do see and we were talking about cyber crime and fraud and all of that I do see that there's going to be an increase in the number of fraudulent universities online offering bogus online MBAs for people yeah. who've got enough money. Do you see that as, a, as, a, as something that might happen? Yeah, my, my view on these things, we, we've had up, um, these online type of degrees for a while now. My, my view on these things is quality will show eventually. If enough poor quality people come out of a particular place, within a few years, you know, employers will brand it as a poor quality place. So yeah, you can pick up a fraudulent degree if you want, but very soon people will just know from the quality of people in general coming out with it that yeah. they're not very good. Yeah. So I, think, I think that will work itself out by itself.